Hey, you all. So, I'm going to keep this as short and sweet as possible, but I really had a, a very neat thing that just happened. And um, when that when that comes on and that comes into my brain, and I kind of like to talk it out, and since I'm here at the video store alone, I guess I'm just going to talk it out with you guys. So, um, one thing that I have, if you haven't noticed recently, is one thing I have, Alyssa and I have done, is we've been exploring our faith and kind of just finding new ways to look at faith and look at how we believe in things, you know? And I think that my biggest misconception for a very long time was that faith had to be a specific religion, that you had to be this way, or you had to be that way, you had to breathe, believe every single thing in the Bible, or you couldn't believe any of it, you know? Like, you had to, it was such a, it's kind of wild how faith kind of messed with me. And so I really pushed it far, far away. But then Alyssa and I really started talking and it's awesome to have such a open and honest relationship where we can talk about this stuff with each other because we both had very foul misconceptions about faith. Religion, yes, there's some stuff in some religions that are obviously bad or or have bad aspects to them. But faith is something that's entirely different, something completely different, something that really helps you make it through your anxieties and things like that. And if you haven't seen my videos, I have depression, social anxiety, I'm always dealing with that kind of stuff. And it happens, I deal with it a lot more than I even let on. But I really want people to know about this one because this was really neat. So this just happened. And if you don't know, I have a video store in downtown Elkhorn, Wisconsin. If you don't know, you obviously haven't been watching anything I post. But um, that's where I am right now. And I've been here for eight years. And every single year, once or even twice during the summer, somebody will come in. It'll be you know, a, a younger man or woman. And they can't really speak much English. They always have this binder with them. They're on a missionary trip. They're from another country. And they're selling like necklaces and bracelets and things like that. Right? And... I mean, there have been years where I have just told them leave, you know, and I haven't listened to them at all. I was not in a good place. And this was, this is how I was, you all. Like, I would get so mean to other people because I wasn't happy with myself. You know, I was overweight. I was not feeling good. I wasn't taking care of my body. I was really getting frustrated. And so I would be mean to, to some poor person who barely can speak any English, who's just trying to do what they feel is right. Whether or not I agree with them, it doesn't matter. What I care is that they are living their life the way that they should and feel that they want to live their life. And so it would be really disheartening because then they'd leave and I'd feel like a jerk. And then there's other times where I've bought two or three necklaces from them. And, you know, but I never really had the, I never really thought to, to converse with them and really have a conversation. And so Harley, this young man, just came in and he's from the Dominican Republic, which was really cool because we were just in the Dominican Republic. Lavelle just sent us there in February. So we got to talk about that, some of the culture, some of the aspect. It was really neat. One sec. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Mm -hmm. Have a good day. And so it was it was nice because I really got a chance to talk with him a little bit, which I loved. And it was, it was great and it was just so eye-opening. And you know what? Today is not the day that I had time to have a 20-minute conversation with somebody. I need to get stuff done here at the store. I'm leaving in four hours to go up north for a week. And so I didn't really have that time. And so in the past, you all, I would have totally brushed him off. I would have said no, you know. But for some reason, I just felt that we would we needed to have a conversation. So we got to stand here. I got to talk to Harley for a little bit. We worked on a couple of different English things. It was funny because he was trying to say stuff, but he was getting really excited. From what I understand is that he came on this missionary trip, he started doing these mission trips about two years ago because he was so shy and didn't really talk to anyone in the Dominican where he lived. And so he thought his parents thought this would be a good idea and they kind of sent him on his way, said, you're going. He doesn't know any English, you know, he landed in, in New York and he told me some stories about some of the other people from other countries, a Japanese guy who's a chef and he, he asked me about the video store, like it was an awesome conversation and the thing is, is this poor guy's probably walked into every storefront on, on the road and most likely most of them have blown him off. He seemed kind of surprised I wanted to chat with him and what's amazing is that at the end, so I bought, bought a necklace, like I said, now I always try to. It's a turtle. It's really cool. I think it's Asian, he said, but it's a little turtle. See, he was telling me turtle means long, long life, which I really like uh, the meaning of it. And then we talked a little bit more, and then he was going to go leave, and um, he said, oh, I forgot. I want to give you, uh, it's like it's like those things, it's like a, a saying, but it, they're in cookies, 
And I was like, like a fortune? And he has me he has me pull a fortune from the bag, right? The fortune reads, If you can possess within yourself a place where God's heart can rest, his blessing will bear fruit in you. And it was just such a kind of like, it was really wild how perfect it is. And obviously, you know, it's just like telling fortunes and things like that. They just take wild guesses. But I thought it was really amazing that I took that moment that I normally don't take. But because I know and I've started to realize that I was so mean to people because I was unhappy with myself and what is going on in my life shouldn't necessarily dictate how I react to other people. It, I took that moment and I really sat and I had a great conversation with him and it's made me feel so much better. Like, dude, I got goosebumps right now. Like, it blows my mind how that happens. And whether you believe in God, whether you believe in the universe, all natural, all spirit, if you don't believe in anything, then you're not, your belief is not believing in anything. You have faith and it's wild how faith can do that and just splash something on you in the day i was stressed i'm trying to get packed i'm trying to get stuff done here everything but in reality what i needed to do was have a conversation with harley from the dominican and buy a a a turtle necklace to give Alyssa to add to all the other necklaces that i've bought from those people in the past but this time it was so different because i actually got a chance i stayed i waited i didn't try to rush him out the door i really had a conversation with him and it's awesome and i just want you all to take that moment and think about that today think about having that conversation with somebody that you don't normally do when you're at the gas station and you're filling up in gas or when you're stopping at the grocery store or something and you just say hey how's it going and they say you know pretty good and you're like oh that's great to hear and you follow up that conversation instead of just having that false conversation where you're just like hey how's it going pretty good good roll on give it five minutes and see what happens you may actually notice that you feel so much better almost like refreshed afterward like i do now so love y'all have a good rest of your day